folks, Mike and McGee here. As you know, we got 14 wild hogs to give to us. When you get that many hogs, you start thinking about doing more than just one thing. What we've decided to do, we want to use the sausage stuffer that Longbow Banjo gave us. And we want to take some of this wild pork meat and make some sausage links. We've never done that on the channel before. Before I started doing YouTube, I did once, one time, so I really don't know what I'm doing. But I've watched Mr. Two Guys in the Cooler, Mr. Eric, do it a lot. I know I'm not going to be able to even come close to his level of expertise, but I am going to start dumping this meat out here. We've got around 30 pounds. These packets that I get are rated for 25 pounds, so I'm going to do extra seasonings. Black pepper, some salt, sage. I'm going to do all that, and that's all right here. I got my black pepper, my sage. I'm going to use the hot pork sausage seasoning. I've got some salt here, so let's get with it. Wow, somebody cut him a strip. They took a belly. Oh, I can't find the end of it. This is six foot long. Folks, this is what happens when you got boys working behind the scenes. Look at that. I just now discovered that right now on camera. Let's grind it through. Goodness gracious, like a snake. That's a pound of meat right there. <laughs> Them boys. All right, I'm gonna grind this through the first time on this coarse plate. When we grind it through the second time, we'll do it on the fine plate. All right, so I got edible smoked collagen casings, and I got this, it's LEM brand. I got it down there at the Academy Sports. I'm assuming it's all one big shot right here. So I'm just going to, I don't know, you can't even get all this on that horn. You reckon we're supposed to cut it? I'm not sure. I've never used that kind of cell. Yeah. I think so. It's not all gonna fit. So, I'm gonna pull it out. It says not to wet it before you use it. So that seems very easy. I'm gonna cut it just like this. I'm gonna tie this in a knot, I believe. Stick this on here. Ooh. And here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, it reached the end. Okay, we'll hold it right there. I'm gonna link it. I'm just gonna twist it. It should, once it smokes in the smokehouse, it should stay, shouldn't it? Oh yeah. I got a pro here with me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, isn't that something? Okay. That's okay. Yeah. She won't complain. No. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> uh. Alright. Yeah, these are nice. 
Oh. Oh. Alright, that's all they're down. That's so cool. says you gotta slam it in there, get the air pockets out of it. You don't want air pockets in it. If air pockets start shooting in here, you got air pockets where air pockets shouldn't be. All right, we've got our casing full. We had about this much more, but this is all the casings that I got. So the rest will just get put into patty sausage so we're gonna hang this up here in this smokehouse that I'm in right here, and we're gonna get it smoking. Now, tonight it's supposed to be down in the 30s. I think I'm gonna let it smoke all night. Basically one stove full of wood. I'm gonna smoke this, and we're gonna be done. We'll test it, test it out and see how it is. Let's uh, check this out and see how this smoke's rolling in on here on this. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. They're not a bad color. No, they look good. <clears throat> All right, folks, we have got these things made. They're smoked. Man alive, they look good. I've got a lot of taste testing help today. Let's try it. Everybody try and see how you like it. Mm. My wife did not overcook them. I'm very happy about that. If you overcook these things, <clears throat> all the grease comes out and you ended up, you just end up with a dry. That's not overly smoked. No, it's not. What we did in the past was so smoky, we didn't really like it that good. This here's perfect. This is actually spicy. It is. <laughs> it's got a nice kick to it. I like it, it has got a kick to it with cheese and potatoes and yeah. cabbage. Perfect. Anybody got any feedback? Well, good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. good. We'll be doing this again. This is the first time I ever used the collagen casings. We did have a couple blowouts, but that was while they were cooking, not while we were stuffing them. So it seemed to work really good. We liked it. So anyway, we're going to get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.